Welcome along to this week's look at the Premier League action with TitanBet.co.uk as the Premier League takes centre stage once again. Well, welcome on to this week's look at the Premier League action. We start with Arsenal taking on West Ham on Saturday afternoon. The Gunners buoyed by their victory at Old Trafford in midweek. This is the sort of fixture that normally trips them up, isn't it? We've seen it before. Everything's rosy in the house of Arsene Wenger. Then suddenly it's Monaco at home in the Champions League and everything's gone belly up again. I don't think it's going to happen this weekend. I think Arsenal may have just found a little bit of steel that they need to finish the season strongly. I'm going to go for a Gunners home win, 3-1. Yeah, I fancy Arsenal to win this one as well. All the stats suggest it's going to be a home win for Arsenal. They've won the last seven at the Emirates Stadium and they've got a very good record against West Ham as well. I'm beating in the last nine against the Hammers. I can see it being a tough afternoon for West Ham who have come back from a break in the sun in Dubai, refreshed, but not good enough to beat Arsenal. I think it's going to be 4-0 and Olivier Giroud to get a couple. 4-0. Moving on, Burnley take on Manchester City at Turf Moor. That's never going to be easy. Last time City went there, they put six past them. The time that before they put six past them. And Burnley haven't won against Manchester City at home since October 1974 when John Denver was at number one with Annie's song. I think it'll be the City fans who are singing this weekend. I'm going for a comfortable City away win, 3-0. Yeah, fancy City to win this one. At a canter as well. Vincent Company scored the last time they won at Turf Moor. I'm backing him to score again. Can't defend set pieces, can they? Burnley can't defend much, actually, Burnley at the moment. Uh, and so I can see City winning this by three or four Company to score. Moving on to Sunday, Chelsea take on Southampton. First against at 7th. Southampton turned the corner a little bit with that win at Palace. Maybe they're going to start firing on all cylinders again. Even if they were, though, I don't think that would be enough to take points off Chelsea, who sit comfortable at the top of the table, uh, lauding it over the rest of them. They know if they keep picking up wins, then their title will certainly be there. So I'm going for a Chelsea home win. Late on, though, maybe... Uh, second half goals. Yeah, it's going to be a tight one this one. Under two and a half goals, the bet for me. Southampton have got a very good away record, won five of the last six on the road. As you say, Chelsea pretty much unbeatable at home unless you're Bradford. Um, I think that it'll be a 1-0 win for Chelsea and they'll just continue their march towards the title. Everton take on Newcastle at four o'clock at Goodison Park on Sunday. Roberto Martinez's men are having an absolute mare of a season the crowd are getting on his back they've only won three at home all this campaign last year it was so fresh and exciting this year it's certainly gone very very stale but they've had almost two weeks off of Everton going into this game and I reckon they'll have found their bigger back they definitely need it if they're not going to be dragged into a relegation battle with Newcastle you can expect anything from John Carver's side they win draw and lose on a regular occurrence no set pattern of play so I'm going to go for an Everton home win I think this will be a draw. Looking at the stats suggests that uh, these two are fairly evenly matched, aren't they? Equally as unpredictable, I have to say. Everton's last five home league games have been draws. They just can't get over the line at home, can they? One apiece, I think, in this one. I think Romelu Lukaku is due a goal as well. By any means necessary for him, he's absolutely desperate at the moment. Manchester United take on Spurs at four o'clock on Sunday afternoon. I reckon the Old Trafford faithful are going to get even more nervy by the end of this one because I can see Spurs overrunning a United side who looks static, stale and don't really know where they're going, home or away. They're fortunate to, where they, to be where they are in the league. Spurs are absolutely flying. As long as they retain their confidence, Spurs, and don't clam up, I'm going for a Spurs away win. I think this one will be a draw, actually. I think Tottenham will probably have the better of it, but Manchester United, with the exception of that FA Cup game against Arsenal, normally seem to get the results they need. Spurs are much better against United than they have been in the past, unbeaten in the last five, but United very strong at home. Toss a coin, really. I think it'll be a two-all draw, a good game to watch this one. Finally this weekend, it's Monday night action when Swansea take on Liverpool, a return to his old stamping ground for Brendan Rodgers. Loads of old acquaintances to be made. Lots of players have come and gone between these two sides. Liverpool desperately need the win to stay in contention for the top four. Swansea, though, going under the radar and with Gary Monk, are going to finish in the top ten and they're playing well. They won't give anything up 
easily and John Joe Shelby would look to get on the score sheet against his old side but I think Liverpool will sneak it by a goal to nil yeah, I think the Reds need to win, don't they? Plenty of pressure on them come Monday night. You would have thought, uh, no matter the uh, results elsewhere, really, if they had to keep up the chase for a top four finish. Liverpool very good away from home, not conceded a goal in their last five away matches, while Swansea do tend to score joint lowest scorers in the top ten of the Premier League. So I think they'll just edge it 1-0. Daniel Sturridge looking sharper all the time to get the winner in this one. Well, there you go. That's your lot for this week. Don't forget to check out our ultimate fan competition on www.titanbet.co.uk forward slash UF. And we'll see you next week.